Good morning and welcome to Open Heavens Outline on AR2 TV. It's Diahom Nanshak with you this morning and we were talking about the topic of turning blessing. Of turning blessing. Our scriptural reading is from the book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 1 to 6. Malachi chapter 2 verse 1 to 6. Memory verse is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 18. Joshua, chapter 6, verse 18. And it says, As for you, keep away from the things devoted to destruction, so as not to convert and take any of the devoted things that makes the camp of Israel an object of destruction bringing trouble upon it. Wow, it's a wonderful topic that God gave to our Father in the Lord. Let's see what the outline have for us this morning. To upturn in the contest means upside down or declined. So we can say from the topic, decline blessing or upside down blessing. I want to tell you, child of God, that God can bless. God can bless you in different ways. Number one, by pronouncing blessing on you, by counseling, by counseling a curse, or by turning curse into a blessing. It is important to establish this morning to all of us at this point that no man can change your blessing into a curse not even the one through whom the blessing was pronounced. Once the blessing is pronounced, it cannot and it will never be taken back. We have an illustration from the Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 30 to 37, wonderful story. It's the story of Isaac and his two sons, Esau and Jacob, where he pronounced blessing on, 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 on Jacob and Esau came back after to ask for blessing. But the father said, wow, I never knew you are not the one. The other fellow came and I've blessed him already. I don't have any blessing to give you for now. And this is how he missed the blessing. There was no any blessing to give him anymore. In the name that is above all names, every blessing that has been pronounced on you and your family, your business, your relationship, your marital, academics shall come to pass. Your blessing shall never be reversed in Jesus' name. Every plan of the wicked to obtain your blessing shall fail and meet with disappointment in Jesus' name. However, child of God, I want you to know that only God can change a blessing into the curse. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3, very, very clear illustration there. The Bible says, Therefore the Lord, the God of Israel, declares, I promise that your family and the families of your ancestors should go in and out before me forever. But now the Lord declares, Far be it from me for those who honor me I will honor, and those who despise me shall be treated with contempt. This is a word directly to the family of Eli. After they have, he has been rejected and his own generation to be priests unto God. So blessing can come to curse, but only God will do that. In that scripture, the Lord reveals that honoring is very crucial. If you want him to fulfill his promises, and beautify prophecies to you and your family, you must be prepared to honor him. God will only honor those who honored him. One of the ways of honoring God is through giving. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10 says, Honor the Lord with your substance. And with the first fruit of your produce, 
And verse 10 says something. How? He gave us the result of verse 9. It says, Then your, your bands will be filled with plenty, and your vat will be bursting with wine. Have you been faithful in paying your first fruit? Are you consistent in observing that? Is a question that we should all think about today. In conclusion, if you pay your first fruit faithfully, if you pay it faithfully, he will definitely keep his words by bringing his promises to fulfillment in your life. If you can meet up to such conditions, then do not waste your time claiming the promises. God is a responsible God and he is the father of responsible children. If you ignore the commands of your earthly father, it doesn't show you are responsible in any way. It, God, it works the same way God. Let's pray. Father, thank you for today. We bless your name for the word for the season. It is our prayer, O oh God, that everyone listening to this outline for today, Lord, King of glory, our blessings will not be turned to curse in the name of Jesus. And in any way, anyone is suffering curse in his life. Lord, just like the way you turn curse into blessings, Father, let that story be, O oh God, a testimony in their life today in the name of Jesus. Open.